All right, we've got to do it. Let's get to the moon. Uh, the moon is close. The moon can be examined. The moon has been examined. You've got some new stuff. First, let's cover the old stuff. Uh, <laughs> what, what um, I say old stuff. <laughs> I know. You're, you're talking about giant crystalline or glass structures glass -like. that, that you believe you found on the moon. Let me, let me give a synopsis again of the history. The easiest way into this is All right. to track the history. All right, good. Um, as we were working with the Mars data, and coming more and more to the conclusion among this very disparate and far-flung and very individualized team of scientists with various disciplines, some of my friends and I, my colleagues and I, began to think that we really, if we're looking at real stuff on Mars, it's really not believable to imagine that it was only confined to Mars. Right, that's you know, true. The, if we're looking at real stuff, it was high-tech, it was spaceflight, it was hyperdimensional physics, it was control of gravity... It was the cornucopia of how the universe works, and the idea that if these guys came from some other star, or even from some other place in the solar system, that they only stayed on Mars, just didn't seem to be in the cards. So we started looking at the possibilities that maybe there was stuff nearer. Right. The only other body that we really photographed the hell out of, you can't say that on television, right, or on radio. You say it. Is uh, the moon. 